Hello and welcome, my name is Mike Wyant and in today's video, I'm going to explain what a service-based business is and why you might wanna start one. So people are totally obsessed with passive income and that's awesome. Who doesn't wanna make $2,000 doing two minutes of work every day? I do, but let me tell you, it's not really passive. <laughs> it's a pain to get that stuff set up. And if you are successful at it, you're probably lucky. The people who actually make money from that are working eight to 10 hours a day. And then they go on here and say, hey, I figured out how to do this and I'm gonna show you how to do it by working five minutes every day. It doesn't really work like that. You're gonna have to do the research. You're gonna have to put time and money into something if you're gonna make money on it. So today I'm just gonna share with everybody another way to make money, another side job you can start or another business you can start that isn't one of those scammy passive income businesses, um, which I'm not, I'm not saying that those don't exist. People who do them are really smart and they're really able to put their mind to it and get that stuff started. But like I said, it doesn't work for everybody. So here's another option for those people out there. So a quick overview of what's happening in this video. I'm gonna explain what a service-based business is. I'm going to explain how it's different than an online business. And then I'm going to explain the type of person who would maybe be interested in having their own service business. So basically what a service-based business is, is when you're doing something for somebody and they're giving you money to do it. Um, it's like mowing the lawn, walking a dog, you know, washing, dishes washing i guess you can wash dishes i don't i don't know why i thought of washing dishes um washing a car or stuff like that that is a service-based business and when i talk about service-based businesses i am talking about physical service-based businesses so something you're gonna do or eventually your employee will do and then you or your company will get paid to do it i'm not talking about an online business or cloud services or, or something like that i'm talking about an actual boom service-based business that you have to be active in doing. So some differences of a service-based business compared to a online business is, for me personally, I'm gonna say that a service-based business feels more tangible. I feel like it's it's something you can, well, you can hold this stuff. Like these, this is my box right here. I can grab it, I can move it, you know, it's there. An online business, say you're drop shipping stuff, you're not really looking at everything coming through. It's just being shipped in from China or from wherever you're shipping it from straight to the customer. And so it, it, doesn't, it doesn't seem as real to me. as something you can really like start up and close down really quickly with no issues. With a service-based business, if you've got returning customers and they give you a call one day, you're there to say, hey, I'm not doing this anymore. And they're like, oh man, what a bummer. I gave your phone number to someone. They call you like, oh, what a bummer. With an online business, you go to the website, say you're still a returning customer, go to the website, website's not there. You know, it's it's less of a, um, it's just less of a tangible thing, for me at least. Another thing I really like about my service-based business and about service-based businesses I'm gonna have in the future are that I directly impact the quality of the service. With a drop shipping company, and I keep coming back to drop shipping because I feel like that's what everybody's doing, I try to do it. I tested one out, I drop shipped backpacks, and I just broke even. I spent $1,000 to get everything set up and ads one month and I made $1,000. And I was like, okay, that's cool. But I had some quality issues because I didn't have them sent to me. And that's really my fault. I should have had spent more money and time to get backpacks sent to me, to check them out, um, and then be like, okay, cool. But even, and I actually did do that. To be honest, I did that with a backpack. I had one sent to me and I thought it was okay, but a couple people got some and they weren't great. So the quality isn't there on every backpack. So if you're not able to kind of check out every single backpack that you're sending out, you're not really able to have a quality control part of the business. With a service-based business or any business that you're selling stuff or doing um, personally, you control the quality. And if you're really going for that high quality business, you can do that easier with a service-based business rather than an online drop shipping business. And with a service-based business, I can contribute directly to my town or my city or my area. Um, with an online business, people were buying stuff from Europe or Canada or the other side of the country even, and that's cool and all, but you're not contributing directly to your local economy or directly to your local city. You're kind of doing stuff 
elsewhere. And it's kind of cool to help build your own city. Like with these boxes, it's eco-friendly. It helps reduce waste when you're moving. And that's an impact I'm having on my area right now. There's gonna be less cardboard just being tossed in a landfill or hopefully it's being recycled. But with these, I know they're getting recycled at the end of their life. I just send them back to the manufacturer and they get melted down or whatever they do and they make them into new boxes. With cardboard, hopefully people are recycling them, but I can't control that. I do recycle some cardboard and paper for people, so I do control that. But with these, I know what's happening and I know I'm gonna do the right thing for the environment and my city in a, in a whole. And the last thing I'm gonna do when I'm comparing a service-based business to an online business is talk about just competition. Right now, there are so many people who are starting online businesses and dropshipping businesses. And hey, if the demand is there and people are still able to make money, go ahead and do that. But it's starting to become flooded with some products. Sometimes you're, you're wanting to start this dropshipping company and you're like, hey, there are already a thousand sunglass companies out there. I'm not gonna do that. Um, or there's a lot of competition. It's gonna be really hard to get that started up. With any business in general, I'm gonna be honest, it's not just service-based businesses that have less competition maybe. It's just look for an unsexy business and do that because people want sexy. They wanna do something that's cool. And if you start a non-cool business, you're gonna have way less competition. In service-based businesses right now, people don't wanna do that. And there's another, you know, there's a lot going on. Um, so it's harder to maybe start a service-based business right now as well. I think I'm gonna make a video on how to start a service-based business during this time, if you know what I'm talking about. I don't wanna say it, I don't wanna like have strikes on my channel, so you know what I mean though. It's harder to start a business during this time in the service industry, but you can still do it. I'm doing it and it's working out all right. So now let's talk about who would be interested in starting a service-based business. It's not for everybody. I mean, like I said, if you're looking for something quick, fast, easy, that you can just work two minutes a day with, it's not gonna be a service business because you actually have to work. The point of starting a service business is to start a service business. It's not just a side gig that you're hoping to just keep as a side gig and make some extra income every month. You're gonna turn it into a business and you're gonna do it full time eventually. That's the way I see it. I don't wanna waste my time doing all this stuff every day and then not build out a business. So if I'm there working day to day, I'm also working with my hands every day. Um, so if you're really not into like moving stuff around or fixing things or cleaning things that need to be cleaned, maybe this isn't for you. But if you're all right with that, if, you're, if you like getting up and doing stuff every day, then you can definitely start a service-based business. And if you're okay with that, do it, start the business, then hire someone. Like that's the whole point is to hire people to do each little task that needs to be done during the day. And then you build the business or eventually move away and build another business. But basically, if you like to work with your hands, if you like talking with people, and if you like putting in a good day's work, you know, start a service-based business. It's really something that you could have more luck doing. Um, and if you're that type of person, it might be harder to start an online business anyway. Like I said, I tried those, it just wasn't for me. I'm not gonna say I wouldn't try to get in the future. Who knows, I might. But for right now, I'm really into growing my own service business and I've managed a service business for about five years. So I, I kind of know this and I know the ins and outs and I'm really good with customer service. That's another video I'm gonna make. So make sure to subscribe so you get that video on how to have amazing customer service and get those five star reviews. Cause that'll be coming up to be honest. I don't wanna brag, but I get reviews. <laughs> good reviews, five star reviews too. <laughs> anyway, so there was a, a quick video of kind of explaining what a service business is and explaining who might be interested in starting a service-based business if you're really not into starting an online-based business. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and make sure to like and comment. I'm just starting up this channel and creating videos like this around service-based businesses. So it'll really help me grow um, and, and to reach more people who might be interested in this type of stuff. If you're not interested in a service-based business, I don't know how you got this far, but let me know down below why you think you, you wouldn't be interested in a service-based business and you think online businesses are the way to go. Besides that, if you have any questions, definitely, again, leave a comment, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll be answering them, nobody DMs me. So I've got like 100 followers, so I'm definitely gonna hit you up. Um, or respond back. Right now, I gotta go clean some boxes. I've got a big delivery tomorrow, so it's getting late. It's like six o'clock. Um, I've been cleaning all day and, and doing deliveries, and now I'm just sitting down to do this. But um, if you do like this, again, please help me grow this channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, I, I'd love to help anyone out who I can help out. But um, I'll definitely see you in the next one. Have a good day. <laughs>
<laughs> I can't do it. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have an awesome outro someday, people, all right? <laughs>